since we have average fashion blogger here and last night was a Met Gala, I'd really like to just talk about some of the fashion at the Met Gala. Since I'd like to. We have so many experts on scene today. I don't really know what the Met Gala is. Do we know what the Met Gala is? Do they just walk around? I think it's more of a fashion as art. So you, it a could, is it an installation? Good point, Corny. It's more of like what a the gala. So I guess like basically the whole like premise here is you 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 kind of like come in you you got to dress for the theme the theme right. this year was what gilded age yeah to glam which gilded age to what's, something glamour it was gilded age I know gilded, for a fact yeah I, I read it a hundred times on Twitter I'm pretty sure gilded age means uh, Bridgerton and with that premise with that framework okay. of thought I'm genuinely so lost at what people wore Kylie Jenner well here's the thing uh, is. I understand that people are trying to make a statement uh-huh. with their outfits, and that's the thing. Why can't you look good and make a statement? I guess is what I'm trying Play to. Play gladly. Right. I'm looking at Kylie Jenner right now, and I lo- you know I love the Kardashians, but uh-huh. I'm just like, sure. In theory, let's say I understood what you were trying to say. I don't, but let's say I did, and you make a statement with that. Great. Not sure what it is. It's, I believe that you're it's, making it's, one. I believe that she's making one. It's baseball game at six right david's bridal at why four. why <laughs> i guess my question is why i think if you and i'm sorry if you say you like that you're you're lying to yourself and others i agree can you zoom yeah. in oh you guys have the same hat rich people <laughs> <laughs> me and kylie are twinning she set the trends this outfit makes no sense for her i yeah i don't it's get just it just like it doesn't make sense but then for her specifically it just doesn't look good. Let's, let's at move the end on. of the day, I, I just love when rich people have bad taste. It like is pretty inspiring to me. That's uh, and then I. What the hell is even that? I just, I don't even know if I'm gonna have anything. I to say I about don't. It. I just don't really think anyone looked that great, and I yeah. just don't know why. Nicki Minaj. Why are they all wearing? Looks snap like she's back. taking out the trash. I I I don't know. It looks like she's holding two giant bags of trash. Next. And I feel like I'm Who missing else? something. Jared Leto. Boy, if you don't get... Okay. It's not Jared Leto, oh. but I guess... Who is that? Harry Hill said it best on Twitter. This is the beta fish competing for your attention at Petco, so you'll pick it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Is that Jared Leto? How many Jared Leto's went? Is it Jared Leto themed? <laughs> is that... They're matching. They're I, wearing the same thing. I don't get it, and I don't know if I'm stupid or ahead of my time. I think it's a very fine line between between those two things. That was really things. good, bro. Oh, thanks, Corn. <laughs> uh, horrible, horrible. I'm sorry. I what don't is, get it. Can you zoom in on the, the bottoms? I mean, these are some of the most beautiful people in the world, with all the money in the world, with all the access and resources. Why are you doing this to yourself and others? Can I say something that's like pretty negative? Please, yeah. by all means. About just like in general, yeah. and I'm sorry, so sorry to everyone. I, I, I think Travis looks good. I think Travis looks pretty good too. I. Uh, just feel like all events recently have been so cringy and hard to look at and like so try hard and it's all these celebrities being like look at we're here we're look at we're back and it's like i don't really give a shit oh we've lost the plot we've lost the plot like it used to, i i honestly still don't know what the met gala is or what it was but even just like with the I'm oscars saying, the oscars used to be about the movies correct yeah. me if i'm wrong no yeah you used right. to be about the art and the films and now it's about Oh, wow. We feel entitled to artificially inseminate a cow. One and only Adele Dazeen. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Elon Musk is at the Met Gala. And you, I've been saying I his name like, wrong this whole time. Yeah. We learned. He's, she kept, Brooke kept calling Elon Musk Elon. I thought it was like an Alana. <laughs> like he's a Disney prince. Alana. <laughs> I think he dressed really well for the for the theme. It was easy for the guys because guys just have to look like one Who of the guys Elon from Bridgerton. Who is looking like to me right now? I don't think, and I don't want this to be taken out of context. I don't, I don't think he's hot, but he looks it's, like someone that's hot. If that makes sense. Oh, right. He, he kind of looks like squint your eyes for me. Take your, maybe just take your glasses yeah, off. I'm, he kind of looks like Adam Devine. He's looking like someone that's hot, even though he's not hot. No, I can't figure it out. Weird. It's something I don't know. I've been watching recently. Oh, hold on, give me. We can circle back. Talk about something else, okay. and then I keep talking. It's just interesting that this man, who has probably a high percentage of the American population's net worth at his, you know, back and call, like he has so much else going on, just at the party. 
Also, Elon Musk is part of the Mandela effect. Oh, oh wait, wait tell I about don't... that. Yeah. Mandela? Do you know about the Mandela effect? Mandela. You Nelson Mandela? I think you would love the Mandela effect. It's Oh, I do know what this is. This guy who like his whole life has been all about space and transportation and everything like that. And then one day he was in grad school and then the professor was like, all right, guys, today we're going to be talking or the next week we're going to start talking about someone that like, I'm sure everyone knows, blah, blah, blah. And then he was like, um, Elon Musk. And then everyone was like, ah, Roaring. And then he was like, who the fuck is this guy? I've, I've never heard of this man. He like went online and he was like, who is Elon Musk? Like, there's literally no way I would have never heard about this man. So then he went on Reddit and like <laughs> opened up about his experience of not knowing who he was. And then a bunch of people started saying, I am in the exact same boat. I like this is I've always been in space. I've always been in, I don't know, electronics and things like that. And I truly have never heard of this guy until like very recent. So some people believe that he's part of the Mandela effect. Well, interesting. The Mandela effect also has ties to like living in different planes of existence. Like there's other planes of reality that are like in the future and the past. And sometimes you can cross through a threshold and end up in a different. That happened to me. I'm in a different threshold. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm in a different threshold than I'm supposed to be. What do you mean? I There was this one time before. <laughs> I can't wait to see how this somehow relates back to Matthew Gray Goobler. <laughs> doesn't. There, before I downloaded TikTok, like you have to understand my whole life, like that yeah. was never like I shy, anxious. Like there was really never a moment in time that anyone was like, this girl's going to be on the internet. This is the sweetest thing. And there was one time I was driving home on the on the highway in Philly and I like almost got in a really bad car accident because I uh, wasn't looking. And I was like, I, I died in another life in that moment. And this is a new. And I think in one life I'm dead. <laughs> and it was that moment in the car accident. And then like a week later, I downloaded You're TikTok. You're a TikTok star. I, and in one life, I fully died in that car accident. <laughs> and in the, uh, another plane, which I got thrown into via car accident <laughs> that I'm not supposed to be in, I have a TikTok. <laughs> I'm dead. Really? I love this Does universe that, that you're in. I'm so I'm happy, so happy to be here. One. I'm so happy I was launched here. I wouldn't, I'm, yeah, not supposed how, to be here. Thanks for having you, me. Welcome. How? We have a new guest today. I actually have a really good question. Brooke Mosk. Um, cause I started social media like in 2016, 2017. Yeah. So I, mine was like, nobody stable. asked, but okay. So, and y'all's was like such a quick turnaround. Like y'all literally went from like, right out of nowhere. How was that? What were we talking about right before Good this? Question. Should I like stay on something? No, no, no I mean, we don't, we we don't believe in staying on. No, no, no. I just we were talking about the Met Gala looks with you, uh, your average fashion blogger. Yeah, so I dropped the fashion bit pivoting. years ago. Yeah, okay, so she dropped over. the fashion bit. I'm not. I'm. Oh, it's the name. I'm I over guess it. I'll go fuck myself. Thank you. Okay.